Welcome to the Thoughtful Entrepreneur Show. I'm Josh Elledge, founder and CEO of UpMyInfluence.com, where we turn entrepreneurs into media celebrities, grow their authority, and help them build partnerships with top influencers. See, we believe that every person has a unique message that can positively impact the world, even you. Stick around to the end of the show, where I'll share info on how you could be our next guest. Three times a week, five to 15 minutes each, learn from successful business owners and professionals. It's time to get inspired. Let's go. All right, so with us, we've got Philip Jepson. Philip, you are the founder and CEO of Manage by Stats, which is a pretty cool program. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, But one thing that you're really known for is uh, selling on the Amazon platform, and you've done very, very well. And as such, you have now gone on to help a lot of other Amazon sellers. And that's, you know, kind of the platform. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, but I'd really love to learn uh, how you got into selling on Amazon. I know you've been doing it for quite a while, uh, but I know a lot of people in our audience, uh, they may have a store that they're selling uh, on their website and um, maybe they have some concerns about selling on Amazon. And I'm wondering if you could kind of share maybe your story and then, and then let's definitely talk about the pros and cons of being on the Amazon platform. Sure, absolutely. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, so in, in 2013, I, I was doing something completely different and, and kind of got fed up working for other people and decided I needed to build my own company again. Yeah. And, um, and, and so I was looking for something and a good friend of mine um, said she was selling on Amazon. She had just done a, uh, a training course called The Amazing Selling Machine. And I kind of went, okay, mm-hmm. uh, it kind of sounds hokey, but you know, hey, if she's making good money with this, I should try it. Um, and, and I dove in and I worked like a maniac for probably six months or seven months. And um, at the end of that, I was doing $100,000 a month in sales. Uh, on Amazon Holy and uh, you know yeah my my life changed um, uh, so it was uh, it was a huge um, improvement for us uh, you know pretty soon I was asking my wife to quit her job and she was kind of like hey easy boy here get some money into the bank account and, and we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about it um, yeah. but um, uh, yeah it went fast and then um, with success comes his own problems it was kind of like yeah. okay uh, how do I figure out how much profit this actually translates into. Um, I, I partnered with uh, my daughter and a, and a good friend uh, on two brands, uh, one each. And, uh, and I needed to figure out how do we split the profit from this? How much is the profit? And uh, this ended up being just, you know, six, eight hours every two weeks when Amazon did a payout in Excel, you know, downloading reports and stuff like that. And you're tearing our hair out, frankly. Yeah. And, you know, after doing that for a few months, I, you know, I had enough and um, I know enough programming to be dangerous. So I just kind of, you know, put together something that would just download the data from Amazon and configure it the way we needed it so we could figure out what our profits were. And um, and I showed that to, uh, you know, um, a few people that I was in touch with every week, um, you know, uh, kind of a mastermind on selling on Amazon. Yeah. And they all kind of went, holy, you know, we, we need yeah. this as well. And um, so I gave it to them and, you know, it was hard for them to install it and stuff like that because it was really just, you know, custom homemade programming. Um, so I went to a good friend of mine saying, hey, I think there's a demand for this kind of thing, um, a good management system for an Amazon business. Mm-hmm. Um, and he helped me put it together, and you know we've been expanding and building on it ever since. So it was a very kind of humble beginning, um, and then you know just kind of sharing it, and then it just kept getting lots of interest. So now it's you know now it, it's <laughs> it's its own company, its own you know doing its own thing and being very profitable. Um, wow. So, so how did you get to a hundred? So I think, you know, I, I don't want to bury this lead here, but how did you get to a hundred thousand dollars in sales on a monthly basis? Cause that sounds like a lot of volume. It was a lot of volume and it was, um, um, I basically just kind of followed the footprint in the amazing selling machine. Um, 
but I worked like a maniac too. It was like 60, 80 hours a week for, you know, for, for initially there. Um, but, uh, the one thing that I did was essentially turn on Amazon sponsored part of that. So Amazon's mm. advertising engine and, um, and just tweaking it, um, a lot and making sure that it was profitable, making sure that I actually got stuff uh, and going out and doing other things. I, mean, I, had, I did a whole bunch of press releases. I turned on Google yeah. AdWords. Um, I did some Facebook advertising, and I just kind of drove a lot of traffic into Amazon from external sources as well as their engine. And, uh, and I figured out um, uh, almost by mistake early on that um, the, the conversion rate um, on your listing is hugely important. Um, yeah. uh, it, it, it turns out um, that, uh, you know, if you're converting at 30%, meaning 30% of people that land on your listing and see end, end up buying, uh, Amazon goes, this is really, really a good listing. And they will decrease the amount of money that you spend on your ads because they know they're going to make a profit just on commissions uh, from mm. sales. Whereas if you have a 5% conversion rates, um, then they're going to charge a lot more for the ads because they go, hey, we're not going to make much of commissions because it doesn't convert well. So they charge you for the ads instead. Um, and um, uh, so a uh, one thing that I did to really uh, increase the conversion rate was set up a landing page where I pre-sold you know, the, the product um, outside of Amazon. Uh, mm -hmm. You basically sold them on the idea, and then I had a big orange button at the bottom that said "Buy um, this on Amazon." And um, so I would send Facebook and Google traffic over to that landing page, um, and then anybody that didn't want to buy just didn't click on it, so they never ended up on Amazon. And all the guys that did want to buy, they would click through and they would convert at a high rate, and I ended up with a thirty-five percent conversion rate. And that made a huge difference on the advertising cost. Mm. Well, I can tell you that, you know, just looking at, so, um, you know, I'm on Amazon right now. And so I'm looking at, I just searched wild naturals. And one thing that I've noticed about all of your products is that you have a very, very good, complete listing with lots of great photos. I mean, it is, you know, it's, it doesn't leave any questions uh, for the consumers. And then your reviews are pretty fantastic. So you're at a, you know, with 1,540 reviews, you're at a 4.3, which is pretty as, as, as outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one, it's a good product. And I mean, you want to have a good product because if you don't have a good product, you end up spending a lot of marketing dollars trying oh. to convince people to buy. If you have a good product, then, you know, you get good reviews much more easily and, and you, you have to spend less. Um, yep. But, yeah, building out a very complete listing, taking a lot of care with the, the, the photography of, you know, the photo yeah, images yeah. and stuff like that is hugely important. And you really want to take up all the space that Amazon gives you to put in details yeah. and, you know, keywords and stuff like that. You know, even you're like just trying to fight, you know, because everyone's going to get a, a negative review from time to time. And so one thing I, I like about what you are doing is that you, you actually respond to every negative review. And, yes, we do. you know, as a consumer, so, you know, with Savings Angel, I, I study and I lead consumer behavior. And, you know, I say, look, negative reviews are, are not a bad thing. Negative reviews are, you know, how could this possibly possibly go wrong and in and you know it can help inform you whether this is going to be a good fit for you or not but one thing you want to look for is does the seller or the business engage with that does the customer does the customer the, the business want to make it right for everybody and clearly you've done a really good job at that um, so I think if nothing else, I think a lot of people, you know, if you're looking at selling on Amazon, they could look, just look up wild naturals and they could see how you guys are doing it. And that's a good, um, uh, it's a good study and best practices, I'd say. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, I, I, I hire people that really take care on this and, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we absolutely want to make this work for everybody. You can't, you can't a hundred percent please everybody. No. Um, so that, you know, that, but at least you can respond to it and you can try to make it right. And, um, and, and so, yeah, we respond to both the good and the bad, you know, um, mm -hmm. 
and, and you know, the bad gets priority on, on the response because you really want to try to fix that. Yeah, yeah. That's terrific. So, um, so obviously selling on Amazon, why doesn't Amazon inherently, why, why don't they, within their platform, offer the tools that, that you created with Managed by Stats? I think, I think originally Amazon built the platform not for third-party sellers. And, you know, if about 10, what, 10, 12 years ago, you know, they started getting a lot of third-party sellers. They invited them, but the platform really wasn't built for it. So they had to mm-hmm. go in there and just put together what, what they thought made sense. But they are not third-party sellers. They are, you know, they are a huge company. And, you know, what they need to see is not the same as what we need to see. Um, as, as third party sellers as you know as small businesses um, and uh, I, I've talked to people that you know help put this whole thing together and for Amazon really uh, if they're going to do a software package you know they will only look at it if it's at least 50 million dollars worth of revenue attached to this software package and yeah. you know um, otherwise it's just too small for them to deal with mm-hmm. so they will fix things like that they, they did a fix on the inventory system they had a really bad inventory prediction planning system um, mm. and obviously that resulted in people just running out of inventory and they you know this became a huge problem for them so they fixed the inventory um, uh, management um, uh, and planning tool in there. So now they have a really good one. Um, but there's a whole bunch of things that, that you and I need that they just, it, it's never really on their radar. Mm. Um, it, so uh, Amazon is a platform. So like, let's say somebody that somebody just has like a WooCommerce store on their website and they're like, man, I am not selling anything. Um, is, is moving to Amazon going to solve their problems? Well, it's going to solve some problems. It's going to solve the traffic problem uh, mainly. Uh, Amazon has an ungodly amount of traffic. I mean, it's just it, it, yeah. it's kind of mind-boggling and hard to understand. I I, I started selling early on. I started selling a, a sleep mask, um, just one of those little airline sleep masks, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I thought, hey, uh, I, I see guys selling, you know, fifty, sixty of those a day, and I thought this is awesome, you know, when I was starting. And I, I, you know, um, uh, this was part of the hundred thousand dollars a month because um, that ramped up just incredibly fast. Uh, I ended up selling three hundred and fifty a day of those, and yeah. you know, and, and you kind of go, how is that possible? How how is there three hundred and fifty people a day that want to yeah. buy something like that? I mean, you yeah. just can't really think with the numbers. Um, so Amazon has an amazing amount of traffic um, and it's growing all the time. So yeah, yeah. it's hard to drive that traffic to your own website. Amazon spends, you know, millions and billions of dollars on driving traffic to Amazon. And if you have, you know, a product up there with the right keywords, you're going to see some of that traffic. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, cool. So um, what's nice. So I'm on managedbystats.com right now. And um, so just in case um, anyone's curious, you know, we've kind of talked about the product, the pricing range is anywhere from 59 to 309 monthly for the service for the platform. Uh, You know, and I think in terms of ROI, you know, that's, that's kind of what the software is designed to do is to generate more revenue. So it includes, you know, uh, product finder, keyword tracking, ad manager, inventory manager, um, helps you with financials um, and helps you manage feedback and reviews. So I think a lot of pretty good, what looked like a lot of pretty essential tools I think you'd want if you really want to get serious about selling more on Amazon. So, uh, so Philip, I, I want to thank you. Uh, you're just uh, d- down the road over in Tampa uh, from me, uh, Tampa Clearwater area, beautiful beaches, by the way. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, TripAdvisor has probably made uh, your beaches pretty popular this summer. Oh, uh, the Clearwater Beach is just amazing. And yeah, we get a lot of traffic. But yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing place to live. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, Philip Jepson, you're the uh, founder and CEO of Managed by Stats and Wild Naturals, in fact. Uh, and so it oh, looks like a couple of other product lines as well. So, hey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing uh, your Amazon secrets and uh, wish you success. Thank you so much. Same to you. And thanks for having me.